Hi guys and welcome to a new video, today I got the Samsung Galaxy S6 with me and today we are going to install Android Oreo, Android 8.0.0 with TouchWiz on the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge, so stay tuned for that. So first of all guys, this ROM here was ported from the Samsung Galaxy A8 2016 edition and um, it is a very very early build. So there are a couple of things which do not work, for example um, the camera does not work and you can also face to some different issues which are not listed in the bug list because this year is a really really early build but it's nice to see that the S6 came with Android 5 with the Android Lollipop and got updated to Marshmallow, got updated to Nougat and has also got an Android Oreo build here which is really nice. So I'm going to split this video into two parts as always. So the first part of this video we are going to install this ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S6 and in the second part of this video I will make a short review of this ROM although there is almost nothing to review yet because there are as you can see less apps and um, there are also a lot of things which do not work so this is basically an Oreo port an early Oreo port for the Samsung Galaxy S6 right but now let's start with the installation process so guys, there are three things which you need to download before you start to install this ROM. The first thing is to download the ROM of course, then you also need to download Magisk and you also need to download the new t uh, an, a newer TWRP recovery. So um, these are the three files which you need to install this ROM. Um, you also need to have already TWRP installed on your device and yeah. Right guys, so the first thing which you need to do is to paste all of these three files on your phone. Then you need to power off your phone, so let's do that quickly. Then you will need to press the volume up button, the home button and the power button in order to boot to the TWR pre-recovery, so press all of them at the same time. So here in the TWRP recovery we are basically going to install the new TWRP. So first of all you need to go to the install section here and say install image and basically install um, this image file here, this new TWRP recovery. Press on it, say recovery here and swipe to flash. Then you need to go back and say reboot to the new recovery. If TWRP asks you to install the official TWRP app, say do not install. As you can see, now we have the new version of TWRP installed and now we can install the ROM. The first thing which you need to do is to go to the wipe section and do a normal factory reset. Then go back, go to the install option and basically install the ROM. So this is the ROM file, press on it and swipe to flash. So this process could take like 3 or 4 minutes, you just need to wait until it's finished. So as you can see the installation process is finished now, now you need to go back and install the magisk file, so basically press on it and swipe the flash. So after this is finished you can basically say reboot system and let the system boot. So guys, as you can see, the phone boots up and it asks us for our SIM pin, so let's type our SIM pin here. And as you can see, this here is the setup screen, I will skip this now. So guys, this here is the ROM, um, as you can see, it is really really minimalistic, so you got your standard Samsung stuff here, 
um, you got Chrome, you got Samsung Gear, Play Store, Phone, Messages, Camera, Gallery, Clock, Contact, Settings, Calendar, Magic Manager, the SMS tools, and the TWRP app uh, for some reason. I think I have installed it by mistake. Um, so first of all, the camera does not work on this ROM, so this is the only bug which is known since now. Of course, there can be some other bugs which are not known. So this here is a really, really uh, early build of the Android Oreo for the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. So let me adjust the brightness quickly here. Um, so as you can see, it's Okay, now it works. So um, this here is Android Oreo, ported from the Samsung Galaxy A8. You can see the Android security patch level is the 1st of June, which is not that outdated, so it's quite okay. Samsung Experience version is uh, 9.0 and the Android version is 8.0, the normal touch with Oreo. With this uh, laggy octopus here. Right. So, as I've told you already, um, this ROM is not the best for your daily usage. So, of course, you can make calls, you can connect to the Wi-Fi, you can browse the web, um, and so on. But it won't have the best battery life, you, won't, you, you, are, you are not able to take pictures, and so on. So, you are really limited on this ROM. This is basically just to check out the process of the developments on the S6 so I'm sure that there will be much better builds in the future um, which will have a working camera a much better battery life and the performance and so on um, yeah guys so this is it um, if you like this video give a thumbs up if you didn't like this video um, give a thumbs down as always and yeah peace out